So one of the main complaints with Ready or Not has always been AI, particularly teammate AI. Now, with update 1.0 coming out on December 13th, uh, that's going to be one of the things that has been overhauled and hopefully fixed to at least some extent. But today we're going to go ahead and give this old teammate AI just one more work over and see how well we can do with it. Let's move. All right. Give me a gun or something. I can help. <laughs> I don't think so, bud. So I think, you know, one thing that would be a nice option here in this menu would be an app, like an option to like, you know, spread out or protect the room essentially, right? You know, not just let's stop moving and, and stop looking in all directions. Sometimes what happens is every, you get all, you get bunched up a little bit and then nobody want, nobody moves or does anything. Suspect killed. And that ends up getting, you know, one or two of your guys killed and whoa, easy there, Tiger. It's good. Excuse me. Excuse me. I mean, you get this too. I mean, this is something else you'd like to avoid. You know, some situational awareness. You know, you you know they're supposed to be on you, but at some point, you know. Okay, let's uh, let's breach this. Grab the door. So the Deploy flashbang. Flash All right, Roger that. Drop the gun. Bang is ready. So right there may have been a good time to maybe cancel the breach for a moment. Uh, you know, even if it's automatic right here. We're just going to have them stack up on that door. Cover this area. We're going to take care of this. Luckily, it wasn't a great shot. That doesn't always happen. <laughs> I will say this, though, you know, I think, you know, maybe the closest game out right now that's of the same age as this, and they're still very different, but the closest thing, I think, is probably Six Days in Fallujah, and, but this is still just such a, still way more polished than that game is, in my opinion, um, and things just tend to work, seem to work a lot better. Suspect. We didn't bring the mirror down. Okay. That's my fault. <laughs> All right, sir. Busting down the door now. I'm not part of this. Get down and put your hands up. Make this get ugly. Get hands up. Make this get ugly. Get down and put your hands up. Drop the gun. Do it now. Put your hands up. Hands where I can see them. Okay. And that guy wasn't moving. I mean, I. Usually you're not supposed to just shoot people who don't move or, or raise a weapon, but I guess my teammates will. Which is fine. Again, you know, I think if you learn to use the the team, the like the teamwork system you can definitely function with this it just isn't quite as intuitive maybe as you would like it to be uh and again apparently this is gonna this is something they're gonna be working and they have worked on to fix for this upcoming update coming out on wednesday next, next week i believe it is uh it's december 13th i know that that's for sure Going. Something else that I've noticed when I played this lately with a couple friends is uh, suspect weapons sometimes just sort of fly. They just go. They go. And you're not really 100% sure where they end up a lot of times. And granted, I mean, I get that that can happen to some extent in a real situation. But... Uh, you know, I just feel like, you know, I think there's some the, the guns are flying like up 30 stable. feet, 40 feet and away, which is a little out. aggressive. This is talk. Affirmative. Make them stable and <laughs> Guys, and this is what I mean. Like, if we're going to have the, have the situational awareness to, to have your back, not towards the open door that we've walked through. Down on your knees. Okay, he didn't listen. It's fine. So now we're gonna send them through. Move in and clear it. While I take care of this Roger guy. That. Talk to entry team. Copy. Clean house and we'll take them out. On the move. Oh, just a random gun. Let's not leave that for any of the kids out there to find. We're going up. Hands up. Drop your weapon and get your hands up. Falling B. 
behind me. Copy that. Falling in. Where are you at, buddy? Nice. I got him. Move here. Move over there. Going and this is going. Doc. Take care Roger of you. I think the real trick is just to keep your guy. I mean, like, listen, I, and I'm, what I'm about to say is going to maybe at first sound kind of silly, but essentially, you can't have your. You can't just be stopped as often as they are. And now that doesn't mean they have to be running around everywhere. But there's just a lot of times when you just can't be, like, here, these guys just standing in this corner like this together. This is a bad place to have just stopped like that. If you're going to be stopped, they should know to disperse themselves equally. If, in corners of the area you're in. One, two on the steps looking up, three by the door. If there's a door nearby, always somebody by a door, always somebody by a stair, set of stairs, and always somebody looking from the opposite direction that you came in would be, would be good. DOA. I'm very, very curious to see how, how they've, um, you know, tweaked this system. Stay on me. Um, as it is right right because like I said I mean it's not terrible I mean, it just isn't it just isn't ideal and you really have to use every single tool at your disposal for them for your guys to not always be doing something stupid so it's going to be interesting to see how well they've been able to adjust this Ball. excuse right. me you got point do it now He was close. Get down. Talk Put your hands up. Get down. Like right here, like see how they just I know they're supposed to be following me, but don't leave me here. To some extent you have to know that that's not the right way to go. I had a video I did a short I did a while ago and there where we were outside the front door and they were all stacked up like this and we were looking at the uh going into the garage area and there's somebody just shooting at, at us. Hit me a few times. They never turned around. They're just taking shots at the back of the of the shield. You know, like, just, I think it's just more about creating situational awareness within the AI structure. I don't know how easier. It can't be that easy to do, to be quite honest with you. I, I do think also, and I don't, I, I might sound like an idiot here because I don't, this isn't like my go-to, my number one game. So there's some things I just don't know about this, but I, I don't know if there's any plan for even a, a a minor vault system but that there's certain things that i think you probably should just be able to vault onto small steps things like that i don't think that would be a bad idea you know drop your weapon okay we're doing all right oh i see another one down on your knees. Hands up, do it now. Shit, reload. Thank you. Down there now. You Let's move you over here. Move over there. Going and Talk reporting. Tag him I think away. also, you know, suspect is bleeding out. Something else, I mean, like medical aid. Talk to entry team. You know, needing to restrain the suspects and stuff, that I get. Having to package up every weapon, while I do understand the purpose of it, and it actually does add something to the game that makes it so it doesn't feel terribly repetitive or as repetitive as it could. I do think that there should be, and you can get your guys to pick, pick all these things up too if you want, but you have to directly point at them. I feel like that should be maybe... That system could be fixed to some extent, or, or improved upon, I guess, would be a better way to say it. Not necessarily fixed, because I do like that you have to do that. Like I said, it adds something other than just securing the situation, basically, you know, and taking care of civilians. But um, to some extent, it gets a little monotonous. And, you know, in reality, I don't think the SWAT team, after clearing the area and making sure all the suspects are down and restrained and all the civilians are gone, I don't believe that this that walking through and finding all of the weapons that have been dropped are, would be the, you know, action team's job, uh, necessarily. I mean, we, we, what the hell? Suspect is breathing. 
but unconscious. I, I have no idea how the hell that happened. Okay, now he should be a little easier to get, I guess. Holy smokes. It's a good thing I was able to... I mean, re, I mean, like, that could have ruined a potentially perfect score. If I couldn't get my hands on that guy. What the hell? Okay. Surprised me a little bit. The suspect is expired. I guess we just didn't come this way. I feel like we walked around this area pretty well, but... Where's his gun? There it is, okay. Alright, maybe it was just this side we didn't... Ooh! We definitely came here, because look at them being a wrapped up fella right there. I mean, they were just, uh, sneaky. Hi. Sorry, it's, I know it's the break Hands room, up. but... I have to up. put you in restraints there, lady. Also, you might need to... Get a trip to Bosley going here because that hair ain't looking good. And I know I'm not one to speak about hair, but another civilian somewhere. Ah, there you are. I, you know, and spilling cuffed and prep for evac. Okay, there we go. So let's call that what it is too. I mean, sometimes the civilian thing looking around like what they're doing sometimes feels a little bizarre. But again, we're gonna we're gonna see how. How improved this system has been, or has become. Just an A? Son of a biscuit. No penalties. Isn't like an S a perfect score? Oh, what's this? Evidence secured? Son of a... I had a feeling. That's the one thing you always tend to miss, I feel like, if you do do everything else right, is you just miss a handgun here or there. Again, uh, like I said, sometimes they fly away and you just have no idea where they are. Um, uh, and they fly away in an unrealistic way. But I digress. Very much looking forward to Wednesday, December 13th, update 1.0, finally, for ready or not coming out of early access. Thank you guys for stopping by. Hope you enjoy the video. We'll see you next time.